hello and welcome to your monthly numerology here at readings at the round table this is your monthly numerology for march 2023 i'm jennifer this is mouse and the lovely and beautiful jasmine is with me as always but i don't think you can see her because of my little banner up here so I'm trying something a little different with the numerology and the reason why I'm doing this is because there's a lot of changes happening in March and I want to make sure that I don't miss any of them when I'm telling you your numerology for March because it is it is important that you know these things. So <clears throat> first of all there's a lot of stuff going on astrologically. We have a couple of big planets that are on the move that haven't been on the move for a while. So first off is Pluto. Pluto has been in Capricorn for years, years. And he is finally moving from Capricorn to Aquarius on the 23rd. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. He's actually going to retrograde back into Capricorn for just a short period of time in June. But we'll get to that when we do June. <laughs> um, then we also have Saturn moving from Aquarius to Pisces on March 7th, same day as the full moon in Virgo. So this is, again, a big deal because Saturn has been in Aquarius for the last two, two and a half years, and now he's moving into Pisces. You know, shake, rattle, and roll there. So that happens on the 7th. Then we have Mars finally moving out of Gemini, um, on the 25th. Now, Mars has been in Gemini since August. Normally, Mars does not stay in a sign this long. But he, like, got almost to the end of Gemini, retrograded all the way back, and has been there for a while. So, it's finally time for him to come out of Gemini and go into Cancer. This is going to be a game changer because Mars in Gemini is a little, it's a little weird. And for him to be in Gemini this long has really been illuminating, let's say. Um, the good news is we have Venus moving from Aries into Taurus on the 16th. Venus rules Taurus as well as Libra, but Venus loves being in Taurus and Libra. So this is a great place for Venus to be in Taurus, this is going to be great. So um, that happens again on the 16th. So this is a really good thing for those of you that are working out partnerships or relationships of any kind or even financial matters because that's what Venus rules. So this is a really wonderful time. If your number, if your numerology this month is really focused on partnerships, this is going to be an excellent sign for you. Now, if any of your numerology readings centers around communication, you're going to want to pay attention to Mercury. Mercury is really on the move this month. We start out March, um, with Mercury in Aquarius. Then, very quickly, on March 2nd, Mercury moves from Aquarius into Pisces. Then Mercury moves from Pisces into Aries on the 19th. Very, like, a lot of movement with Mercury. So if your numerology is centering around communication, you're going to want to watch what Mercury is doing this month. I know. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. We have a, a new moon in Aries on the 21st of March. We have the sun moving into Aries on the 20th of March, as well as the vernal equinox. It's time to say hello to spring. Am I right? <laughs> um, but this is a wonderful, this is going to be a wonderful month. There's going to be lots of things going on. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody heard this. And so this is the intro video for everybody's. Now, what does this mean for your numerology in particular? Life path six. S March is a seven month for you. Seven, seven. So we're in a seven year and you're doubling down this month with a seven month. Mm. So this month for you 
is spiritual connection to each other, to the universe, to nature, is also spiritual expansion, expanding your spiritual knowledge. And, um, and really, I think that this is a wonderful time for you to look for and recognize peaceful energy, whether it's with your family or your community, all those things that you hold dear, um, like your home, your children, your partnership, your marriage, whatever this is, your business, holding, like getting that, um, that peace into your life and recognizing it into that energy of the six is going to be a wonderful thing for you. It truly is. Um, this can be a time of really great spiritual study. It really is going to help you with your insight, with your intuition, and trusting your own judgment and knowing that you're making the right decision. Um, this is a time, this is a great time to start meditating if you don't already. This is a time of contemplation, um, a time of philosophy and introspection. And again, like meditation is great. It is. Um, the thing that you want to avoid, because again, you're doubling down. We're in a seven year and you have a seven month here. So the thing you want to avoid is that self-doubt, that insecurity, um, running from problems and decisions, and that self-imposed isolation that we see that comes with a seven. You want to make sure that you're making choices without retreating from others, without checking in with them and going, you know, are, do you think I should do this? Do you think I should do this? No, you need to find the answer within yourself and trust it. Trusting your own judgment. This is a big deal this month. It really is. This is all about discovery. This is about assessment. And finding the beauty and the peace and spirit that's all around you. I think this is, I think this is going to be a wonderful time. I really do. I want to remind you that with your energy of, um, like moving forward without, ex without, how, how, what is that? It's like without accepting, like, without judging on people, like being patient with people and like taking accountability for yourself, but not taking responsibility for other people and not like judging other people for their decisions. Let them make their decision six and you like stay with yours. Focus on trusting your judgment. And maybe that will help everybody else to trust their judgment. You can lead by example here, six. Hmm, you know, just a thought. <laughs> I know. But a six, I mean, you want to teach mutual love and respect for the truth and for others. You want to have that in your life. You want to have that with the world around you. You want to be compassionate and generous, not only to other people, but to yourself. So make sure that you're embracing that. Make sure that you're doing that this month, especially with the spiritual connection. This is a great month of spiritual connection. It truly is. I, I think that this could be a wonderful time. I think you need to watch what Venus is doing. And I think you need to watch what Mercury is doing. Because you're in a place of speaking your truth, keeping that connection open to other people. So that does involve Mercury and Venus. I know. Everybody's on the move this month. Lots of changes. Lots of changes. So I personally am excited about all these changes astrologically. So... I added in a third deck of cards to pull from this month. <laughs> I know. I just uh, overly excited about it, I guess I should say. So um, I'm, of course, pulling from the Healing Oracle Crystal reading cards and the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. But I added in the Fairy Forest deck because I just thought... We needed another deck because there's so many changes going on this month, at least astrologically. And the Fairy Forest deck is just a little bit dark. Just a little bit. So, 
you know, it just brings in a little extra layer of fun. <laughs> Isn't that right? Um, I, I really do think this is a fantastic month for you to be experiencing all of these astrological changes, six, because, um, the, the seven energy puts integrity above everything, integrity and intellect above everything. So like material gain and power. And I think with all of these changes that we're all experiencing, I think you're going to be, I think you're going to be the most philosophical and I think you're going to be the most grounded. Hmm. Isn't that great? Kind of think it's great. Yeah. Ooh, chrysolite. Oh, no, chrysotile. Chrysotile animals. Well, that's definitely a connection to others and nature. All right, let's see what else we got here. Athena, inner wisdom. How about that? Trusting your own judgment. And they're both green. It'd be really cool if this one was green too. You know, and it's perfect for a March month because, you know, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, gosh. I have done this with this deck in almost every reading today. Almost every reading. I don't know what's going on with me, six. Okay. Oh, the wild hunt. She's a pretty one. Okay. All right, the wild hunt. If I can get her in, there we go. Um, this is a nine card, and it's excitement, frenzy, and journey. Like that. Um, Athena is inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Trust your judgment. And chrysotile animals. Let's see if I can find that. Okay. Chrysotile assists in the process of connecting to and aligning with the world of animals, beloved pets, and animal totems in the spirit world. These powerful animal guides show up at certain times in your life to offer you their support, guidance, and healing wisdom. Chrysotile assists in awakening to the world and healing energy of the animal kingdom. You know, that's part of the reason why I read from the animal deck every week in the weekly Zodiac readings. And I even have my totem animals back there in that picture frame. My three totem animals that I know at least. Um, connects deeply with your power animal in spirit. Ooh, that's good. Allows deep connection to the inner worlds and assists in awakening of the wisdom of the animal kingdom. Hmm. So I would say that that is going to put self-doubt and security in the back seat. Listening Listening and trusting your judgment and listening and trusting, especially like the animal kingdom and showing that you recognize that we have that spiritual connection, not only to each other, to the universe, but also to nature. Yay. 
fantastic month. Fantastic month for you, Life Path 6. Can't wait to see what happens. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate your support on my channel. Don't forget to check out your weekly Zodiac readings, of course, with me on this channel. And uh, then don't forget, too, that this is a general reading. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful March. And of course, as always, get out there and make your magic. Bye.